Hey guys, get Jack Joy 2006 here, and today I'm gonna be doing my NASCAR 2023 Cup Series Winners Edition. And yes, I am testing it out on my computer, but with my microphone that I'm holding, so the computer can let me read my voice. So, with that out of the way, I'm gonna do my Winners Edition. And no, this is not on CapCut. Or that I would rather use some music, but this will have no music, so I just want to get this out of the way. So, with the clash coming up next week, I like to share my winner's edition, so let's get right into it. So, the reason why I have the top three right here is because there's a rumor that there will be this thing called medals for the clash in favor of the Olympics. I mean, some guys like Brian Griffin, Family Guy fan, hated that idea because... He does not want NASCAR to be, be like the Olympics, but for me, I think it's kind of cool. So, the metal bronze goes to William Byron. The silver bronze goes to Joy Logano. And who will win the Clash? Well, it's Kyle Larson. I think he's going to win the Clash. So, there you go. And now for the dual races. For dual one, I think Eric Almarola will get that one. And for dual two, I pick Austin Dillon. I think that's also a possibility. Okay, and now for the 2500. Do you know who I picked? Kyle Busch. I know he's, this, this is very unlikely. I know it's not going to happen this year. Because I know that William Byron, Ryan Blaney, they're pretty competitive on super speedways. So that's why apparently they can, might win the day 2500. And I think Bubba Wallace can also win the Daytona 2500. And I think Austin Cindric and Austin Dillon will likely win another Daytona 500. So, there's that. And who knows? Maybe Cody Ware can get one. And I think Chase Elliott is good at literally like any track. So, yeah. But who knows, man? I think Kyle Busch will probably get the win. I don't know, but... I was, I'm on Racing Reference, and apparently I saw that, I know 2022 was not a good year for Kyle Busch, but he did really decent at the Super Speedways, so if he does not get any bad luck, he will win the Daytona 500. That may not happen, but who knows. And then for Auto Club, I choose Ross Chastain. I think Trackhouse Racing will be pretty competitive this year. And for Las Vegas, I picked Joy Logano. I think that track is one of Logano's best tracks. And for ISM Raceway, I choose Kyle Larson. And for Circuit of the Americas, it looks like AJ Allmendinger will win a race. And it's at a road course, giving Colleague Racing their first ever playoff appearance. And for the first time since 2014, AJ Allmendinger will be in the playoffs. And then for Atlanta, I think it'll be Ryan Blaney. And for Richmond, I choose Chase Elliott. And for Bristol Dirt, I choose Denny Hamlin because, well, I think Kyle Busch and Rasha sang on a battle pretty hard in the final lap. And it'll be just like last year's Bristol Dirt. And it looks like a JGR driver could win this one. This time it'll be Hamlin, though. And then for Martinsville, I choose Alex Bowman. And then for Talladega, Brad Keselowski will win. Yes, Brad Keselowski will get his first ever win with Roush Fenway Racing. It will come in a super speedway because super speed racing is unpredictable. And most of the, and it's very common to find underdog performances there. So, I think Brad Keselowski will win it. And for Dover, I choose William Byron. And for Kansas, it'll be Tyler Reddick. Uh, he will give 2311 Racing their first playoff appearance. I mean, Kurt Busch was supposed to do that last year, but due to a concussion they had Pocono, Kurt Busch and the 45 car just missed the playoffs. But Tyler Reddick will easily make give 2311 their official playoff appearance. And for Darlington, I choose Eric Jones. I think this is one of Eric Jones' best tracks, I think. And here's North Wilkes Pro, a.k.a. the All-Star Race. For Stage 1, it's going to be Eric Almarola. Stage 2 will be Ryan Priest. And Stage 3 will be Ricky Sounds Jr. Since they will win those stages, they will advance into the main All-Star Race event. And for the fan vote, 
it's going to be Noah Gregson. And who won the All-Star Race? I choose Alex Bowman. Now, I don't know anything about what the All-Star Race lineup is about. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but this is the best I can think of right now. And for, for a Coke 600, Kyle Busch will win. He will win at least one of the Crown Jewel events. And I think the Coke 600 is likely for Kyle Busch. And for Gateway, I pick Ross Chastain. For Sonoma, I pick Kyle Larson. And for Nashville Super Speedway, it's going to be William Byron. And for the Chicago Street Course, uh, this is very bold. But I pick Alex Bowman because I think Almendinger will get bad luck at the Chicago Street Course where he will not win. And it will go to the showman, Alex Bowman. And for Atlanta, I pick Chase Elliott. And for New Hampshire Motor Speedway, it's going to be Kyle Larson. And for Pocono, I pick Daniel Suarez. And then for Richmond, I choose Ryan Blaney. And for Michigan, it's going to be Daniel Suarez. And for the Indianapolis Row Course, I choose Chase Briscoe. And for Watkins Glen, I picked AJ Allmendinger. And for Daytona, it's going to be Noah Gregson. And here are the drivers that made the playoffs. I'm not going to go into that, so pause if you want to see. And now for the Southern 500, I picked Kyle Busch because I think for the Southern 500, Kyle Busch was supposed to win it last year, but an engine just that just expired caused him, Kyle Busch, to not win. So Kyle Busch is driving for Richard Shaw's Racing, not Joe Gibbs Racing, so... I think the Southern 500 will be very likely for Kyle Busch to win, just like the Coke 600. And then for Kansas, yeah, I don't think this is going to happen, especially at an intermediate track, because Ricky Stanley Jr. is racing for JTG Dari Racing, but hey, you'll never know, man. And then for Bristol, I choose Noah Gregson. Here are the drivers are getting me around 16. Brian Keselowski, obviously, because, well, he won't be competitive during the playoffs. And shockingly, Denny Hamlin, because, well, I'm pretty sure that 2023 will be just like what Kyle Busch had in 2022. Where this season will not be bad for any drivers, but 2023 will be a bad year for Hamlin standards. And for Chase Briscoe, I don't see him be competitive for 2023. I mean, he did in 2022 where he made it to the round of eight, but that will not happen this year. And for Redick, this will be the third time in a row that he gets eliminated in the round of 16. And then for Texas, I choose Austin Dillon. And for Talladega, I pick Josh Balicki for fun, where he will run part-time driving the 78 for Live Fast Racing. Yes, Super Spirit Racing is unpredictable like I said before. And I can see an underdog who's not going to run full time will get a win at Super Speedway. And for the Charlotte Roval, this is very unlikely, but I think Michael McDowell will win at the Charlotte Roval because I think Michael McDowell is pretty decent on the road courses. So I'm pretty sure that he will apparently um, get his first ever win at a track not named Daytona Talladega because. I think Charlotte Roval will be having rain on the track, where it's going to just rain, and I think Mike McDowell will do pretty decent in the rain. Here the drivers are going to let me around 12. AJ Allmendinger and Joey Logano. I think Joey Logano will have a championship hangover, where he will only win one race and get eliminated around a 12. For Noah Gregson, he's going to get eliminated, and same with Eric Jones. And now... For Las Vegas, I picked Chase Elliott. And for Homestead Miami Speedway, it'll be Kevin Harvick. And for Martinsville, I choose Ross Chastain. Here are the drivers getting eliminated out of eight. Kyle Busch, because, well, I don't I think round of eight will not be good for Kyle Busch, but at least he's improving after 2022. For Ron Blaney, I think some mechanical will make him miss it can miss out for competing for the championship. And Alex Bowen, Daniel Suarez will be will get eliminated as well. And Ross Chastain will win at ISM and will win this year's championship. 
here is the Cup Series standings. Rajan will be first. Kyle Larson, Chase Hill, and Byron Williams will compete for the championship this year. And here is all this. I don't need to explain more right there. And now, this is where things get interesting. Christopher Bell will miss the playoffs. Well, I think Joe Gibbs Racing will have a pretty bad season, just like Stuart Haas Racing 2021, where the team will not be competitive, and it will only get one win by one driver. And I think Christopher Bell will have will do, will get some good talent once the chase season started. And Christopher Bell is probably going to be in the chase, but Noah Gregson will win and knock Christopher Bell out of the playoffs. So if Noah Gregson did not win in Daytona, I think Christopher Bell would make it in the chase. And here's Austin Sendrick. I think Austin Sendrick will have a sophomore slump. Like, his season's not going to be bad or anything. I think it'll be a disappointing season for Austin Sendrick after the fact that Sendrick won the Daytona 500 and made it to the round of 12. And now, as you can see here for Austin Dillon, um, I think Austin Dillon will get a win, but will not make the playoffs. And for Kevin Harvick, I think he will also not win. I mean, he will miss the chase and will be winless until race 34. And now for Chris Buescher, he will be pretty mid for most of the part. And Martrix Jr. will have one of the worst seasons of all time since 2014. And for Bubba Wallace, he will not get a win with 23-11 racing. He will go winless with the team for the first time. And for Michael McDowell, he got a win, but will be 24th. And poor Eric Gamarola, he will not do good. He did nothing but win a duel and a stage in the All-Star Open, and that's about it. There's Ricky Snells Jr. Uh, I think he's going to do bad in JTG Racing Equipment. And then there's Ryan Priest. I think he will do the do perform pretty similar to Cole Custer. For Justin Haley, he's pretty mediocre. Same Todd Gilliland. And shockingly, Ty Gibbs will finish 30th because I think Ty Gibbs will have 10 DNS. And, well, he's going to be doing nothing, but will have a horrible rookie season. And he will not win Rookie of the Year. And that means Noah Gregson will win Rookie of the Year. And now here's Corey DeJoy, Ty Dillon, Cody Ware. They will finish in these positions because, well, Corey DeJoy will be pretty... He will, won't win a Cup Series race anytime soon. For Ty Dillon, he's, this will be one of the worst seasons of his entire career. And for Cody Ware, well, that speaks for itself. Thanks for watching. Enjoy my content. Then make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so you won't miss out on new videos. And please give this video a like. As 4.3 viewers, viewers from my channel are subscribed to my channel.